good evening good evening how are you i'm great great <laughs> good good how was your day uh it was um tired okay did you work yes okay in my house <laughs> oh in your house yeah working, yes. working at home gets you tired too oh uh, yes mm -hmm. doing different things cleaning the house uh wash the the clothes <laughs> yeah wash the dishes laundry dishes dusting mm -hmm. different things exactly okay good good all right and what about henry foster aleda and carlos how was your day good evening how are you foster uh pretty pretty thing pretty well thank you okay good henry how was your day oh nice nice very nice good good that's good Aleida. hi everybody um i was a little bit bored okay. i slept all all afternoon okay and uh, when you sleep during the day does that give you uh insomnia at night yes yep yeah i got a little i got a, i got a little travel now <laughs> okay so maybe tonight you will be doing work in the platform <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe maybe yeah because i start to work at 6 a.m okay all right so i have i have to try to sleep all right good good all right so welcome back everybody today is june the second year 2020 at the beginning of every class we have a review about the previous one so that way we give some minutes to the ones that are not connected yet and we also make sure that everybody understands what happened the class before so let me ask you do you remember the topics we covered yesterday yes phrasal verb and or two part verb good and what exactly did we say about the two part verbs or phrasal verbs as you said who remembers we can, what we, we discussed use, we can use with nouns pronouns and okay. requests and response okay good good so phrasal verbs um you use them in a very normal regular way and you also use them to make suggestions or to ask for something now we did mention that sometimes you can separate these verbs but sometimes you cannot it all depends if you're using a noun or a pronoun so um that's what uh one of the things that we mentioned yesterday, we're gonna have more practice today. Uh, what else did we talk about? Who remembers? Now remember, when we have the session, when we have the class, uh, uh, it's always good if you guys take notes because our brain sometimes fails. Like, okay, you said, yeah, hey, it's clear, I understand. Uh, the explanation in the platform is good, but sometimes we forget. So it's a good idea and uh, as a suggestion uh, that you take notes about the things that are new for you or that maybe are difficult for you. What else did we talk about? Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> okay, what was... So we spoke about phrasal verbs, when we can separate it, and when we cannot. 
we can separate it when is is a, a noun. Exactly. Now, can you give me examples of nouns? TV. Television, uh-huh. What else? Mm -hmm. Television, mm -hmm. stereo, car, sofa, anything that you see around. If you look around your house right now, or if you're in the office, look around. Everything you see, it's a noun. Yeah. It's a noun. So if it's a noun, you can separate it. Now, if it's a pronoun, you cannot separate it. Now, what kind of pronouns did we mention yesterday? He, she, he, them. Exactly. Object pronouns. Object pronouns. Uh, him, her, them, it, and all the object pronouns. Now, the okay. object pronouns, they indicate um, who receives the action. So if I say, tell him the news, who will receive the news? Tell him the news. Who's going to receive the news? He. Him, he. exactly. He. Yes. Or you can say, uh, well, they told us that tomorrow uh, we have a meeting. They told us. Who received the action? Who received the information? We. Exactly. We received the information. So to indicate who's receiving the action or the information, whichever you want to call it, you use object pronouns. Object pronouns, I'm talking about me, him, her, them, us, or it. All right. Um, any questions or comments about what we did um, yesterday, about the topics we covered yesterday? No. no, 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 right now, no, right All now. Right. Good. All right, so let's let's um, start with this one here. Okay, it says okay. Minimize. Share screen. Okay, do you see this the, the, the image? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes. Okay, so there we have a written explanation of what some of you guys said uh, a few minutes ago. When you separate it, when you cannot separate it. So separable, separable phrasal verbs can be separated by an object. So what is the object? We're talking about nouns, television, stereo, sofa, house, car, whatever. So in this case, the example that you see in the sky blue circle, they say, I put on my shoes or I put my shoes on. So if you're using the name of the noun, you can separate it. Mm -hmm. It says, if the object is a noun, there are two placement options. Number one, between the verb and particle or preposition and after the article. Examples, I put on my shoes or I put my shoes on. Mm -hmm. So if you mention the real name of the thing that you are talking about, then you can separate it. Second part, if the object is a pronoun, him, her, them, us. There is only one placement option and the pronoun must be placed between the verb and the particle. So you said, I took it off uh, or I ran into him. Are there any questions about this explanation here? Or any comments? Mm. No, that's okay. Okay, let me. Um, For me, it's okay. All right, good. Let me take a picture of this so you have it as a reference. Um, so I'll send it to the chat right now. 
Okay, so if you don't have any questions or comments, now we go with something else. Now we go with this exercise. Two part verbs. So can you guys see the document? Yes. Yes. If I can take a picture of these two. Uh -huh. So I'll send it to the WhatsApp chat too. So if you have any questions in any part of the exercise, you let me know. So I will have you work in pairs. Um, part one, fill in the blanks with the correct two part verb. Use the verse below. We have clean up turn down, take out, put away, and hang up. Any questions about meaning of those phrasal verbs? No. No. Part two, mm -hmm. write an appropriate verb or particle to form two part verbs. Uh, remember that yesterday we mentioned that the, if you change the particle or the preposition, the meaning of the verb changes. So um, turn up means increase the volume. What is the opposite? Turn, up. turn down. Turn down or turn off. So we have a turn up, turn down or turn off. So if you use up, you're saying increase the volume. If you say turn down, it means decrease it. If you say turn it off, that means uh, deactivate it. So uh, the meaning is completely different. And then in part three, you have write a possible noun for each two part verb given. So here um, you use your imagination and you just practice yesterday's topic. Are the instructions clear? Yes. All right, so um, I only heard, the, yes. The part two? Uh-huh. Uh, I don't understand the part two. Okay, all you have in to do. In the first, you part? No, uh, in part uh -huh. two, what you need to do, you just have to include one particle to each verb. So I was giving you the example okay. for the first one. You can say, turn off, turn up. Okay. Turn down. All those are possible. Turn okay. in. So uh, uh, you use uh, your knowledge to use as many as you can. Okay. All right. Okay, part three, they give you the two part verbs. You just write a compliment. Take out the garbage. Take out the children. Take out the books you don't use anymore or things like that. Okay, thank you. Sure. Anybody else has any other questions? No? All right, so let me assign you and um, so you guys can work in pairs. I have, I will make 11 pairs. So here we go. Remember, do not stay quiet. Do not stay quiet. Practicing makes perfect. So here we go. So, 
the first part in, in the one sentence for me is the please clean out the garage. The garbage. The garbage. The garbage. 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 Yes. Patricia, uh, she doesn't have the picture. Oh. Because she... Uh, Not teacher, because I had the problem in, with my son. So you don't have a, a WhatsApp uh, right now, Patricia? No, teacher. Okay. Uh, are you using your cell phone or a computer? A computer. Okay. Can you take a, a, a picture of the image? Do you see the image? Yes. Okay. Can you take a picture of it? Please. No. Can you take it? Uh, sorry, teacher. Do you send me the picture in my email? Uh, yes, I can. I say, oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Um, Patricia? Okay, hold on. Okay, let me write it down. Okay, Patricia? Punto yes. Rodriguez? Punto Rodriguez. Sí. Ajá. Arroba. Ajá. S, B, la V. Ajá. Punto, la E y la Y de payaso. <ríe> ok. Patricia dot Rodríguez at SV dot ley. Ajá. Y Creo. Y Y plus com. Oh, oh, ok, me lo puedes repetir, please. Patricia punto Rodríguez arroba sb punto eye punto okay. com. Eye. Eye. E de Emilio y la Y. Así es. Punto com. Sí. Ok, let me... All right, let me see this. In this moment, I decide the, the practice, the exercise. Okay, hold on. Let me send it to you. Uh -huh. Record, desktop, save. Okay, let me see this here, two part verbs. Should have left this open, Gmail. Right here. Compose, give me a second, it's taking a little bit. Okay. Patricia Punto Rodriguez at SV dot EY dot com. Touch.
Okay, so I just send it. Uh, just confirm when you get it. Okay. So I can be with it. You guys okay? Yes. All right. Okay, we're done. You're finished. Yeah. No, no, the third part or only the one or the two part we're gonna. Oh, uh, we only, uh -huh. we only all do the parts. The... All the parts. Two parts. We try to do with using can, could, and would, and also, um. Also, let me tell you, um, waiting a little minutes, waiting, don't you mind? Don't you mind? I, I, don't, I don't understand you. Okay. Um, I studied this afternoon uh, three, Clean it up. Clean it up. Oh, yes. I think they're right to clean it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take out. Mm -hmm. The garbage. Clean up your room. I don't know. Mm. And the number five. Uh, oh, no. The number four. They said the toys are every here. Uh, please. please. Ah, put away. Put away your toys. And I, I have a question. We we question. <laughs> yes, ask me. We have a. Uh, well, uh, we, we don't know uh, the, the meaning of hung up, but for using in a sentences, right? Okay. We, we think maybe it can be possible use hung up for a uh, colgar un cuadro or something yes. like that. Or the most common means when you finish using the cell phone. So you oh, say, look, I, I have uh, to hang up. My boss is here. Goodbye. And you hang up. Ah, okay. Mm, okay. But can but, be a, a, yeah? Yeah, but it can be the definition you also mentioned, like, okay, so I have a poster for you. Please hang it up on your wall. Okay. Okay. Yes, and, it's possible. And let out? I let don't out. have a sentence. Okay, let out means to open the door, and, and the meaning is literal. So let's say you have a dog, and you see that the dog needs to go out. So your husband or your boyfriend or your father, they tell you, look, let the dog out. Ah, okay, let okay. the dog out. Yes. But, but always uh, is, there is a, is a complement there be, between let and out, or we can use let out. Yeah, let, let, let him out. It, it depends if you're using the pronoun or the noun. So you say, please let the children out. They did their homework already. Mm -hmm. Let the children out or let them out. Let them out. Yes. Uh, okay. So it depends if you're using the pronoun, the object pronoun, or the noun itself. It's the same the example in, in, the, in the last uh, presentation. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. All right, okay. good. All right, good. Okay, um, five, pick up my gift. Yeah, can you pick up my gift from? My keys, uh, o sea, toma mi Ah, your keys, yeah. Okay. Can you please turn on the radio? 
Ajá, ya. Eh, entiendo yo. Es un Yes. yes. Uh, we have a duda. How doubt. do you say duda? Doubt. What? Doubt. doubt. D O U B T. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the part one with number three. The kitchen is a mess. Is a mess. Mm -hmm. Please clean. Clean up. Please clean up. Please clean, clean, up. It up. clean it up. In the clean it up. Clean it up. Yes. Please clean okay. it up. Okay. Clean it up. So remember, the idea is to to test your knowledge about when you can separate it and when you cannot do it. But okay. in this case, no can separate. Or yes. Uh, it depends if, if 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 you are using the noun or the object pronoun. It depends. Now in this case, please clean it up. Clean it up so you separate it. But now I use up separate it because it exactly and it is the object pronoun. Now imagine yes. if we don't want to use it and we want to use the word kitchen, I will say, please clean up the kitchen. You cannot separate it because I'm using the noun. Okay. So it, it, it all depends okay. if you're using the name of the noun itself or the object pronoun. Okay. Yes. So did you guys finish? No. The I first did. part, yes. All right. <laughs> okay. So finish the second one, please. Okay. And where I put Three. The fact um, the toys is Jeva put away, put, put away. Which one? Number five. What? The, Let me see. The no. toys are everywhere. Please put away the toys. Okay. Or put the toys away. Because you're mentioning the name of the noun, so you're saying toys, so you can separate it. Okay. Yes. In the you guys finished already? Yes. yes. Yes, we did. All right, let me go back. You can talk about other things meanwhile. It's okay. All right, let me see this here. Three. Uh, the exercise uh, about the the uh, phrase are bare. Uh, really? Um, are we going to review the exercises from yesterday? For example, pick up, turn down. All those exercises. Uh, Because yeah, we're, we're, we're practicing what we spoke about yesterday. Okay, the exercises from yesterday. Uh, not the exercises, so, but the topic. The topic. Yes. The topic, uh, exercise. That we, the topic that, that we saw that we saw in the in the in the little video. The gay, the gay song or. Oh. oh. Okay. That that's that was the introduction to present uh, the topic. Ah, okay. Yeah, so you, you practice the, your pronunciation, your reading, and then we go into exercises like the ones we're doing right now. Ah, okay. Uh, yes. Part, part one. One day I, I didn't have, I didn't have electricity. Work. In my case, mm -hmm. I, I didn't There was have... no lights? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. To clean up... The table. Clean up the table. Number three. Hung up the phone. 
Pero ya se acabó. Ya me incorporaron ah, okay. a otro. Okay. ok. Thanks. Did you have the chance to practice um, the exercise? Yes. Yes. Okay. Are yes. there any yes. questions? Yes. About uh, the last uh -huh. um, tour, tour up. Turn yes. up. Okay. Yes. What is the question uh, exactly? Uh, for me, it's the first time that I listen to an app, and I okay. don't know what is it's there. Okay, so imagine um, you're watching television, but the person next to you is talking real loud, and you're having problems to understand what's going on on the television. So you tell the person, hey, I'm sorry, I need to turn it up. So that means you need to increase the volume so you can hear better. Okay. Yes. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? Uh, teacher, I, I, ha, I got a doubt about yes. part one in row two. Uh, there's a blank, uh, the radio blank, please. So I'm, I understand turn down the radio but in the second blank uh i got this, this doubt oh you can you can separate it remember that when you mention mm. the name of the object you can separate it so you can say turn the radio mm. down or turn the radio uh, up please mm. yes yes i figured that yeah. okay good i have a, I got, I have a question yes uh, ask me please with <laughs> We can use turn up to for uh, turn out the fan. Uh, turn up the to, fan to, in, to increment to increase sure, the, the sure the, the velocity. Level. Yes, yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, uh, Marielos. You can definite. Give me the definition of the hang hang up. Hang up. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. does anybody know the meaning of hang up? In uh, Spanish? Uh, yeah. uh, maybe if you can give us the <laughs> definition in English, it will be better. It's like the phone, take something. The phone off. Okay, someone mentioned something about the phone. Well, what and about the phone? When, the end when the you end a call. Uh -huh. When you finish a call, you say, look, don't raise your voice or I'm going to hang up. And they raise their voice, you hang up. Okay. So it means to finish a phone call, but exists a, exists a game too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Or 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 they give you a frame, a picture, a diploma, or something. Say, so I'm gonna hang it up mm -hmm. in my room. So you hang it up on the wall. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Sure. Any other questions or comments? No. So are, are we okay with the exercise right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, when we talk about two part verbs, um, you have the verb and you have the particle. Some people call it particle, some people call it preposition. However, it doesn't matter which name you use. Um, your the intonation or the stress that you give to these verbs are exactly the same to to the two words so um let me give you an example it's right here share okay do you see that image it's really small do you see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How many examples do we have there? Five. 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 What is the first one? Pick up your things. Pick, Pick up, up your things. How do you say Our fuerza de voz in English? We call it stress. When you say pick up, you don't say pick up. You don't say pick up. So the, the two words 
have exactly the same tone of stress. So you say, pick up your our things. What is number two? Cut, cut it out. out. Cut, it, cut out. it out. When do you use that expression, cut it out? When you don't want to speak It's the more. same. Okay, cut it out means stop. So like somebody's bothering you, telling you things to say, look, cut it out. It's, it's been too much already. So you don't want to hear it anymore. Uh, what about number three? Drop me off. Drop me off. Drop me off. What's the meaning of drop me off? What is drop me off? Arrastrarlo. Mm, not mm. really. So no. imagine. Let it that, go? Um, not exactly. Let's say you're giving me a ride from Lourdes to Santa Tecla. And I tell you, you can drop me off at the San Rafael Hospital. That's perfect for me. Drop me off. Dejarlo. Yes. Dejarme. Uh -huh, exactly. So some of you guys, you take your children to school in the morning. When you arrive to school, you drop them off. You drop them off. 3 p.m., 4 p.m., you do the opposite. You pick them up. So drop me off. It's, it's like leave. Yeah, exactly. Drop Living me somewhere. off. Exactly. Drop off is a synonym of leave in this case. Okay. So you can say, yes. It, what is the opposite of drop me off? Pick me up. Okay, thank you. Yes. So in the morning, you drop off your children. Okay, goodbye, have a nice day, listen to your teachers. 4 or 3 p.m., you pick them up and you ask them, how was your day? Do you have homework? Got it? Yes. 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 All right, okay. what is number four? Turn the radio up. Turn the radio up. Okay. If you analyze when you say turn the radio up, the four words have exactly the same stress. Turn the turn radio, the radio up. up. Turn the radio up. And the last one? Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Yes. So put and down, they have exactly the same stress. So this is related to pronunciation just for you to know that when you're pronouncing these two part verbs, pronunciation is exactly the same on the verb and also uh, on the particle or on the preposition. Any questions about pronunciation? No, probably not. No? Okay. Sure. Yes, um, ask me. How do you say fuerza de voz? Stress. Stress. S-T-R-E-S-S. Okay, stress. Yes. So if I said baby, where's the stress in baby? Baby. Where is the stress? Baby. Baby. If I say Saturday, where is the stress? Saturday. Saturday. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, so when you when you are practicing your pronunciation, it's very important that you know uh, how to identify where the stress is so you sound more natural. Okay. Any questions about the exercises we have done today? Okay for me. Oh. All right. No, it's okay for me. All right. You, good. You, you can share a list of uh, printed verbs to study. Sure. Sure. Let me. Uh, I have a list that I can share to you uh, in the, the WhatsApp <laughs> chat. Okay. Yes. With, with the meaning. With the meaning or. Uh, it's only. It's only the the verbs. It's only the verbs, but I will try to uh, send you another one that I have that are like very basic and the ones that people use every day. Okay. Sure, Thank you. no problem. 
Okay, anybody else? Any comments or or questions? No? Okay. Now, our last part is for you to speak. The topic is natural disasters. What is a natural disaster? Like an airport? Hurricane. Okay, uh, hurricane, hurricane, earthquake. What else? Earthquake. La pandemia, COVID. Tsunamis. Okay, tsunamis, pandemics. Uh huh. What else? Inundation. Floods, yes. Floods are uh, part of a natural disaster, too. So, once again, Explosion volcano. Yeah, uh, when the volcano erupts, that's considered a natural disaster as well. Yes. Uh, have you ever been in a natural disaster? An earthquake. An earthquake. Yeah. Earthquake, yes. The yeah, pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the pandemic, right? The pandemic. Now, in, in terms of weather, how is the weather right now in El Salvador? Raining. Yeah. Rainy. Yeah. Can Rainy. you call it like a natural disaster? No. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because it's windy. A little bit windy. Very yeah, windy. and we have like, uh, I think, 16 dead people and like five missing and many houses have been destroyed. And uh, so I guess we can call it a natural disaster. So um, let me see, where do I have this here? It's right here. Let me see this here. Okay, so I sent you the, the image um, to the WhatsApp chat. If you prefer, you can take um, a, a screenshot from your computer too and have it with you. So I'm going to make pairs again. Uh, remember, when I assign pairs because of technology, sometimes some people, they stay alone. So when that happens, send me a, a message and says, look, I'm alone, so I can move you to work with another person. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. All right, let me see. Uh, breakout rooms. Earthquakes. Okay. Room five. And I want to make sure that everybody has a partner. Some of you guys are going to be working in um, Prius. Exactly. Move to 10. And here we go. Thank you. 
is more bigger than a natural process, maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. And number three, have you ever experienced a natural disaster? Yes, right now I am the same. Yeah, no. Have you ever experienced a natural disaster? The earthquake. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. the earthquake. Um, the hurricane. Yeah, the Mitch. <laughs> Mitch. Uh, what, what was the last natural disaster you saw on TV? This one. <laughs> <laughs> the actual. Yeah, the actual, the pandemic or the. Yeah. The, the hurricane. Have you ever, ever prepared for a natural disaster? I guess anybody, no one. No, no one. But uh, I think depend of the natural disaster because uh, like a hurricane, the hurricane we can uh, know uh, days. Um, what was the last natural disaster you saw on the TV? Um, in this moment, the uh, the my country of oh, El Salvador, I had the depressed the depressed the rains, disasters, the Ney Amanda, uh, the last week. Well, on the on this moment, yeah, I read, I read the situation, the the rains in El Salvador, the Mitch, no. Mitch, yes, the Mitch. The Mitch, uh-huh. Katrina only, only in the United States. Yeah, is in is Nova Jersey, New Jersey. Okay. Yep. Katrina and, and now Amanda. <laughs> yeah, Amanda. It's amazing. I never think that happened. Remember uh, the 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 earthquake in, in 2000 years. Mm -hmm.
I think it's my turn to ask. Okay, uh, uh, Veronica, uh, what, co <laughs> what comes to mind when you hear the term natural disasters? I, um, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have many vocabulary <laughs> about natural disasters. It's okay, I don't have it too, but try it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, try. Last rain and the uh, speed of wind uh, that all combined uh, has been a, a more disaster. Yeah, it's true also. Well, the earthquake as well. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. The earthquake it's most dangerous. I think. Yeah. So uh, there is many uh, natural disasters around the world. Yes. What's the word natural disaster in your opinion? Mm, for me, earthquake. Because I'm so so scared when when a little bit. A, a little square is feel is felt in the in here in El Salvador. Uh, I mean, I I just uh, I just run away of my home and and like a bad the water, the electricity, and then, you know. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. The other number eight. Eight. What the word? Natural disaster in your opinion. My goodness. For me, everything natural disaster. Okay. But every winter we have people that lose hair, that lose uh, their houses, people. Okay. Do you think natural disasters are happening more frequently in the world today? I think not. Um, the difference is that that the quickly you can know about uh, disaster in another country, another place, because we have so much access to the information but i i think the the natural disasters are in the in the world in in a normal I think um we have inundations teacher it it's correct say inundations <laughs> no the correct word is floods floods okay f l double o D, floods. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. What's the, what is the worst natural disaster in your opinion? Oh, tremors. What? Tremors or earthquakes. Earthquakes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I think that the same because uh, uh, many people uh, many people die under the uh, oh yes earth and okay. around, yeah i think the fire missing. because in uh, the glacier glacier no sé glacier 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 in the um, in the polos are um stan I don't know what mm, uh melting. Uh -huh. melting melting and that is a a lot problem because the the water in the ocean is more um level the level the the sorry, the beach uh, is more each day uh, possible in in the next years the cities are um, can be inundadas floor flooded 
Good, good. Good. Um, do you think do you think the world should be more concerned about natural disaster or terrorism? Yeah. Um, well. Thanks. Uh, see you in the the next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions or comments about today's class? No. No? Okay, so once again, thank you for making the space, making the time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time, eight o'clock. You guys have a good night. Thank uh, you. Good night. Good night. All right. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye.